Hello everyone and welcome to Design Your Life channel. This is your host Dennis. Our goal and our hope is to inspire you to live your full life in Christ through coaching, through content, and through community. We want you to become better leaders in your home, in your workplace, and in the greater community where you are in. We are excited because we're dishing out a lot of content for you to consume so that you may better grow in where God has placed you. I want you to live a purposeful life this year. So God bless you and enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Tammy C. Um, I would just like to read something from Philippians chapter 4. Okay, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Rejoice. The command was to rejoice that even in the midst of all that's happening, that we will not let the circumstances surrounding us steal our joy. Okay, so what are the some of the things that the Apostle Paul is reminding us here? First, we can see him reminding us to rejoice and he says it again to rejoice meaning to not let the circumstances around us steal our joy. Um, it also says here, let your reasonableness be known to everyone. In another version, it says, let gentleness be seen in every relationship, for our Lord is ever near. So I think the thing that even comes to mind here is, are we reasonable in how we are making decisions? Are we Yung, parang rational pa ba, ba? Are we still uh, making decisions with a sound mind? Or are we letting fear dictate how we treat others, how we buy stuff, what we post, and what we what we forward in the threads, in our threads, by our messenger threads? Do not be anxious about anything. And he gives us a reason why. Because the Lord is ever near. The Lord is at hand. And the Lord is sovereign. He is not surprised by all that's happening. He also says here, do not be anxious about anything. And he gives us a reason why. Because the Lord is at hand. The Lord is ever near. The Lord is in control and he is suffering. And he does not just say, do not be anxious, but he gives us an alternative. And he says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the promise is the peace of God, which transcends and surpasses all understanding, which we cannot explain. I cannot explain how it will happen or how it can happen or how we can have peace amidst all that's happening, but supernaturally, we can trust that as we present our requests to God, His peace will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And finally, Paul says here, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is worthy of praise, think about these things. These are the things that we dwell on. So I post the question, what are the things that we dwell on? What are the things that we are consumed with? Because it's so easy now to get consumed with, with the news, to be consumed with the facts. But I, I, I encourage everyone, more than be consumed with the, with the facts and the reality around us, let us uh, go for the higher truth, which is that God is on His throne. And there are many things we do not have answers to, we do not have solutions for, but we can trust God's character. Can I just um, pray for you? Lord, I just thank you, God, that you give us reason to have hope. You give us reason to have joy no matter what circumstances we are in. Lord, I pray right now that you will um, remind us, God, that you are ever near us. You are at hand, God. Lord, I pray for every mom. I pray for every dad. I pray for every child, grandma, grandpa. I pray for every heart now, God, that your peace Will, will that surpasses all understanding, will just guard, Lord, every heart and every mind, God. Lord, I pray, God, that you will help us choose what to think of and what to dwell on, that we will not um, be anxious, Lord, but we will choose to be thankful. We will choose to see you for who you are, that we will not limit you 
with what we see around us, God, that we will choose to trust in your character, choose to trust that, Lord, you are the God of, of everything, God, and you are in control of everything. So, Lord, I just, I pray, Lord, that you will help us um, guard our hearts and our minds, Lord, in, in you, that we will, you will help us filter what we dwell on, what we think of. And, Lord, I just thank you, God, that we can have hope in you and our hope, will, Lord, it will not disappoint because you are our faithful God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for those of you who watched this episode or listened to this episode on Spotify. If you are in YouTube, please like and subscribe to our channel. There will be more contents like this coming out on a regular basis. For those of you in Spotify, we'd also like for you to subscribe and give a good rating in our podcast. This would help spread the word so that you, family, your friends can live a purposeful life this year. God bless you guys.